It's Python on Hardware Time. This week, because we did not have a show last week, we finally get to show our video, that's why I started the show a little earlier, of It's a Snap. Here we go. You can use your iOS device to control or monitor your Adafruit I.O. projects using It's a Snap. With It's a Snap, you can send data from your iOS device to your Adafruit I.O. projects. This means you can send photos, weather, location, and health data to your Adafruit I.O. feeds. You can even control HomeKit devices directly from the app. All of that data that's living on your iOS device can now be used in your Adafruit I.O. projects with It's a Snap. In the app, the overview page lets you browse all of your Adafruit I.O. feeds. You can tap on any feed and see its data history. A list of values are displayed with the date and time they were posted. In this quick demo, we can type out a value in the input field and send it to the feed. On our Adafruit Feather ESP32 TFT running CircuitPython, we can display that value we just sent. This illustrates we can quickly send values directly to an Adafruit I.O. feed. With Apple Shortcuts, we can create custom actions to send and receive data from your Adafruit I.O. feeds. For example, you can set up a shortcut to send a random value to a feed and then have it displayed on a Feather ESP32 TFT. This means you can also automate shortcuts to create custom workflows for your IoT projects. In this project, we can use Apple Shortcuts and It's a Snap to send a photo from our iOS device and display it on this round display connected to a Quali S3 running CircuitPython. You can recreate this project by checking out the tutorial at learn.adafruit.com. With Apple HomeKit devices, you can use It's a Snap to create a bridge between Adafruit I.O. and HomeKit devices. Inside the app, we can see all of the HomeKit devices that we set up in the Apple Home app. We can tap on them to see all of their device info, and we can control this Nanoleaf LED strip by turning it on and off. In this project demo, we have a Feather ESP32 TFT running CircuitPython code to display data from an EVE temperature sensor. The buttons are set up to trigger different presets on our Nanoleaf LED strip using Apple shortcuts and It's a Snap. So when we press a button, it triggers a different scene that we set up in the Apple HomeKit app. In our Adafruit I.O. dashboard, we're logging sensor data from our HomeKit devices to our Adafruit I.O. feeds to view the sensor values over time. Using Apple shortcuts, we can set up actions from It's a Snap app to get data from the HomeKit devices and send it to an Adafruit I.O. feed. To learn how you can recreate these projects, head over to Adafruit's Learn site. The app is available and free to download from the Apple App Store. We hope this inspires you to use It's a Snap with your Adafruit I.O. projects. Adafruit Daily deliver to your inbox every single week. This is this week's. So you can see all the things that are in there and more. Um, the highlight was it's a snap. Micropython 1.24 is out. Yep. Arduino has an editor. There's another web editor. There's a lot of web editors. Let's now. go on. your choice. All right.